Hey guys, Dustin from the PPC Pros. Doing this video, it's been a while. I uh, wanted to do a video about how to update products in your shopping feed without actually having to change them on your website. And this could come in handy when you have either clients or your own website that has product names that are very general in nature. They don't have, let's just say, your popular search terms in them, keywords in them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'll show you a quick way to do this. All right, so here we are in Google Merchant Center. Um, I don't have the client's name or anything shown for this because it's none of your guys' business. But basically the way this is gonna work is uh, this client's got some products that are very general in nature. And what I'm gonna use is a supplemental feed, which is a way that you can have, there's something called a product feed, which all your product data lives in. A supplemental feed is just another feed that supplements that data. So, for example, if we want to have, uh, we want to update our product titles or descriptions or anything else, then one way to do that, which we're going to cover, is adding a supplemental feed that has that new title or whatever bit of information we want to show. And so that's what we're going to do here. So let me just go ahead and jump right in. Um, right here, what you're seeing is the page you land on when you log into Google Merchant Center. What we want to do is go products, if it decides to open. And we want to go to feeds section right here. Now, if you have a brand new product feed, I'm sorry, if you have a brand new Merchant Center account, you haven't set up any feeds, you're not going to see this option here. Um, so you have to add a feed, obviously. Um, again, you will see this add supplemental feed button here. That's what we want to use today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a Google Sheet, which is one way to do this. And you can see right here, once I click on the add supplemental feed, it's asking for a feed name. I'm just going to call this title supplemental feed because that's what I want to change and it's easy to remember. And I'm going to go with Google Sheets here now. If you have a URL that's going to have this feed in it, um, you can schedule a fetch for it. You can upload data. But what we're going to do right now is use Google Sheets because it's the easiest to explain and it's the one that I typically use for clients we need to do this with that don't have a third-party tool that we can use like data feed watch so I'm gonna hit continue okay and what I want to do now is sometimes you could have an existing Google sheet set up um, if you do that's great in this case I'm just gonna create one from scratch so you guys can see it's nothing nothing uh, earth-shattering here what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit create a Google sheet from a template and then hit um, and I'll also look at this create and upload schedule so we'll upload it daily I mean I don't expect this thing to change very often actually you know daily is best practice I'll probably go with weekly again just because I'm only gonna update the title if this are things like pricing if we have special pricing or we're you know changing data that might um, might be different more often than weekly then I would recommend using daily but I'll go ahead and choose weekly for this example <clears throat> I'll go to Google and United States English create feed Alrighty, so now I have to authenticate. Give me one second here to pause this video. Alright, so I went ahead and authenticated the uh, login. And now you can see it brings me back to this screen again. And down below, you can see title, supplemental feed, so I just created. Now, you can click here, but this is where we want to go to open the Google Sheet. And basically what I want to do is this sheet's going to have some placeholder data from Google. This is our template. But what I want to do is basically... I need to tie the product information that Google already has for each product. Um, and I'm going to do that using the item ID. And I need to also add the new column or field that I want to change, which is going to be the title. And what I'm going to do is basically, because they don't have a lot of products, luckily in this case, I'm going to be able to just copy the existing title. I'm going to be able to paste it here. And then I'm going to add the, you know, the keywords and the verbs that I want uh, to go along with it. Sometimes there's too many products to do that with. And again, that would be an approach where I would, uh, I would definitely use a third party tool like Data Feed Watch and just use uh, rules. You can also use feed rules in that case, um, which we, maybe we'll talk about in another video one day. This is just a little bit easier way to do it. Okay, so as you can see, we didn't have any placeholder data here like I thought. I guess uh, they decided not to populate the sheet with any data. But what I'm going to do is show you what I would, what I'm going to do here, which is go back to the Merchant Center. And then go to this all products section. 
And this is just because I wanna be able to find my product that I wanna grab the product ID for, and then obviously update the title. Um, so what you can do here is you'll notice on the right here, it's very hard to see sometimes, there's a filter, and you can choose that filter option, and if you want to sort by products with a certain title <clears throat> or description, um, we can do that. I'm not going to do that because there's only a few products here, and I know exactly which ones they are, but you can do that. You can sort by other things as well, price, condition, availability, um, things like that, really. Title, the ID, which you probably wouldn't know, um, price, status, availability, maybe condition. I mean, title is the most helpful one here, in my opinion, because a lot of this other stuff, source, a lot of your products will be the same. Like in this case, you can see it's just Google, uh, country, US. I guess if you had multiple countries you're running ads to, you could use that. But let me go ahead and um, grab the product IDs I need. I'm gonna plug them into the sheet real quick, and then we're gonna continue on with this process. Alrighty, so I added a few of the products in here. I added a few of them with the product ID. So basically what you have to do is make sure you have a, um, a header right here. And it's gotta be in the format you see uh, in the template, which they didn't give us the data for. I'm sure you can download the template somewhere else as well. Um, but you wanna have the right uh, product headers here, or I'm sorry, attribute headers if I could talk today. And once you do that, basically just plug in the data. So what I was doing is I was basically going through the product list. I was looking at the product I want to update, grabbing the product ID, pasting it here, grabbing the existing product uh, title and adding it here. So I'm gonna give you an example of what I'm trying to accomplish again, just in case it wasn't clear from the beginning. But this is our product title, right? So in this particular example, I'm not going to use the real the real product title I'm gonna use, but let's just use this as an example. Let's say, <clears throat> you know, we're selling a very specific type of multi-probiotic capsule. So maybe it's for people who are keto, or people who are vegan, or people who are something like that, right? Something very specific. Well, with Google Shopping, because you don't have keywords, a lot of times things like this, um, people will do a search for like probiotics and your ad will show up. And, you're, and you realize that your product is very specific to a certain demographic or market, like vegan or keto or a million other things it could be uh, for kids, for men, for women. And you want to be more specific to that. You wanna give Google a better uh, understanding of what this product is about, who's it for. You could do this with the descriptions as well. I'm just doing the title right now because our description is okay. Um, we may wanna do something like uh, men's, let's say men's, multi-probiotic capsules, right? Obviously make sure it reads, men's multi-probiotic capsules, 60 count, right? Or we may wanna say something like, if it's vegan, we may wanna say vegan, multi-probiotic capsules, 60 count. Might wanna also list the brand. Maybe the brand is a very popular brand, like, I don't know, let me think of a popular brand. I can't think of a popular vegan multi-brand. Actually, uh, we'll make one up, we'll call it Nutri vegan. All right, so Nutri vegan. So that's who it's for. So you might want to put that in there, or maybe say even buy Nutri vegan, right? And so now what happens is, as we update this sheet, instead of showing the title in the uh, in the ads that uh, is just this boring kind of plain old Jane title, it's going to use our more specific title. Now this is going to help in two ways. It's going to help Google understand who to show ads to, theoretically, and it does work. Um, but it's also gonna help people when they see the product title in the ads to realize, okay, oh, it says vegan, so this is what I'm looking for. Rather than just being a generic product name like this, we're not even gonna give you attention most of the time, just look at the next product that has the right, uh, the right kind of title. So the game plan here is basically just to update these like you saw I did here with the right kind of keywords. Once we do that, we go back here into the Merchant Center and then I will go back to, okay, we go back here into where our, to go back into the Merchant Center, back to our feed section. And what we're going to do here is click on Supplemental Feed. And we're gonna fetch now. All right, so as you can see, um, it actually went through. I had to go, make it, go back and make a change because in my feed, I added the extra title, the uh, extra column there that wasn't supposed to be there as the example for you guys. And then also the first um, 
the first item, instead of being product ID, the header should just be ID, not product ID. I typed out product ID. But again, it went through. This is how you know your changes went through accordingly. And that's basically it. So, I mean, if you need any help as far as updating your product information to be something specific, but you don't want to change it on the website, because if you add keywords to it on the website, it might look spammy or it might just not look well um, or be consistent with your brand the way you, know, you want your products to be seen. But for Google purposes, this works great. And then for the shopping feed, again, if we're just adding something to qualify what the product is or who it's for, that can also be really good for your ads as well. So you don't have the wrong people clicking on it and you do have the right people clicking on it. They don't just pass your product by because it's too generic or it doesn't have an important you know, qualifier or word in the product title. So hope this helps and hope you guys can implement it. Thanks again for watching and take care.